Hey guys, bit of a different video today. So, I was uh, I watch I was watching this podcast that was talking about the zero waste experiment and how someone in New Zealand was able to recycle basically every junk uh, piece of junk in his house to and put it to good use. And obviously, this was a very interesting concept to me. I was very intrigued by this because from what I've noticed in India where we live even in my building and otherwise the, and when it goes to the junkyards there isn't much waste segregation so wet waste such as food uh, scraps etc and dry waste which would be plastics mixed together and uh, I remember watching the Satyamaya Vijayanta episode about how that can be night, net marriage for the environment and for the people living around it. So I wanted to try out an experiment where, you know, uh, how can I create, how can I at least recycle the wet waste using minimal investment, like the minimal possible investment. So, and that is what I would like to show you guys today. I've been doing this for a while. It's I started around August, I believe, and uh, it's been a few ups and downs. But so far, I'm I'm really happy with how it's turned out, and I thought I'd share just in case any of you might be interested in trying something similar and figuring out how we would do So just give me a sec. Apparently I can't flip the camera. So right about there. So here you can see this box. You know, it, it, does, it might not look too impressive. But the reason I'm happy with it and the reason why I thought I'd share is because, again, this has been done with minimal investment on our side. So the only additional things we needed was the big box, you can see it around here, with, which we got for it. It's not very expensive, 30, 40 rupees at most. And some sand, which you might need to get from outside or just buy it because you'd need the soil for plants to grow. Aside from that, everything in this uh, box has been grown purely from waste. So when we when we peel any vegetables for salads or for food, you know the oil, uh, the aloo ke chilke, uh, the tomatoes. You can see the tomato peels which I had recently. All of these uh, we just collect and we throw them into this box, and then we we let nature do its things. For the water. For water, what we use is essentially a any like when I take a shower, I just keep a bu uh, I just keep a bucket underneath, and whatever water runs off and collects in that bucket, I pour in there. So you know, you can see there's literally zero additional investment on our side after the box and the um, after the box and the soil. Everything in this plant uh, uh, box has been grown completely naturally, and I, we never had issues with smelling or food rotting because in, originally what happens is birds will come and take away some of the peels. Uh, you can't, I wish I had higher definition camera but you can actually see, I can actually see the ants coming and working on that. There's other insects that will come and you can, uh, starting out before plants grow really big, you actually might ha need to mix the soil a little bit which will you know, help the things grow, help the uh, food get underneath the soil, which helps both with, uh, like, you know, because if you don't want too many insects hovering around, and also just generally it helps it grow better, I've noticed. That's pretty much it from my side, you know. Uh, I thought I'd share because I'm, you know, uh, I'm pretty into climate change and, and everything, I'm interested in that area, and I obviously am not at the stage in my life where I can make big sweeping impacts but uh, something like this which is small you know it's a, this is something that all of us can do and it's a it takes almost no additional effort on our part and it can help by because what we are doing is we are segregating waste uh, wet waste from dry waste which is a big problem in big cities in India currently I'm in Mumbai I'm from Delhi I know what a nightmare it was in Delhi uh, I think around West Delhi is like, a lot of these junkyards they have like heaps where you have like food waste and you have uh, arsenic uh, runoff from like tech or you know plastics and other kinds and that is a you don't want that so you know this is something that I like this was an experiment I kept in my mind designing for 
any like you know urban person like me you know you live in apartments which is why i kept a box instead of like a more of a composting garden or whatever you're a busy person you have you know you have things to do with your time so you might not be able to look after this which is why i designed an experiment this experiment in a way that you can actually anyone can do this it takes almost no additional time on your part and you know it's this is something that will con- completely sustain itself because uh, you can actually see the leaves the leaves and etc are starting to like they'll they'll be the compost for the next thing i can actually you can't see it from the but if you look very closely to the upper right corner left corner you'll see the tomatoes you know um, they they're small little fruit but they'll grow big uh this wine actually could reach the this wine right there actually reached almost reached the ground and I'm on the second floor and uh, you know unfortunately this uh, this box is big enough for a wine this of this size so it's starting to die out now but uh, that's my point even if this doesn't grow we still have all these little plants that are growing and they'll continue to grow big and you know once they get to a size i get they might die but then we'll have a new batch and this will keep sustaining itself and you know not only are you segregating waste in a pretty effective and neat manner you're also growing plants which i guess helps you suck up carbon dioxide but you know that's pretty much it thanks for watching if you have i'm sharing this in case you guys have any better ideas on how we can do it you know let's all you know ex- ex- let's experiment with different ways if one of you are more into Cli- uh, climate science or ecology or whatever you might be able to come up with a better designed box you know better de- designed dabba jo aur acha kaam kare etc etc that's about it thank you for watching hopefully you guys get some ideas from it if you have any better suggestions do share and you know uh, make your own videos tell me how you would uh, improve my experiment do the experiment yourself let's make you know let's let's make let's not have to rely on the government to segregate our waste and do everything for us we, this is a small step that we can take uh, to make our own lives better and the lives of everyone the lives of people who are actually living around that area thank you